All right, in this video, we're going to look at how to incorporate Weather Ace into KOWP. This does involve Tasker. What is Weather Ace? Feel free to go over to the Play Store and read the description, but basically, it's a weather app that pulls a lot of data from several sources. And uh, we can use this stuff in KOWP by using the Tasker plugin. The app is free. I think for like a dollar and a little bit of change, you can disable the ads. So I uh, highly recommend doing that to support the developer. And also what you need to get is the Weather Ace app and the Tasker plugin, which is this right here. That way we can actually um, use our variables, pull our variables and send them to KOWP. I've used this app for about two weeks. It does not use a lot of battery at all. So uh, you know, I wanted to test it out and make sure it wasn't a big battery drain before I did a tutorial on it. And um, I actually have a little just scroll down thing that shows me the current temp and what it feels like. Now this is not, this has nothing to do with KOWP. This is just strictly the Weather Ace app. But you can actually get more icons from them. I don't think these icons can be used uh, in KOWP. I haven't experimented with it enough yet to truly determine if that's possible. However, the developer does have a website. You can go to their website by scrolling down to the bottom, clicking on visit website right there. And this is their uh, website that shows various uh, codes. And I'm going to go over an icon set with you because here underneath the ACE plugin documentation, the developer does provide a text file, which is this here, that has all the codes for various types of weather. Um, as you can see, there are quite a few. And um, the developer also provided a uh, icon set that I'm just going to show you how you can quickly incorporate that into KOWP as well. Um, if you create your own icon set or if you have them, if you go in there and change the names of your particular icons to these numbers, uh, we can quickly, it's not a lot of coding to do as long as you go in and rename them. Um, Tasker sending a certain code over to KOWP will automatically pull that picture from wherever you have it saved on your phone and that's what I'm going to show you how to do here as well. So I have these two pieces over here. Um, these two things right here, these are coming directly from Tasker coming to KOWP. So let's just go ahead and go over that real quick. Inside of Tasker, create a new task and I called it Weather Ace. So once you have that the Weather Ace app and the Weather Ace plugin. Um, if you go to Plus, go to Plugin, and then tap on this one, that's what's going to give you this thing right here. So I'm going to tap on that real quick. Go to Configuration, and I have it set to uh, Auto for Location. I'm just getting the current conditions. And these are the types of variables that we're going to be pulling. The ones that I have right now are Location Name. So I have Weather Ace underscore Place underscore Name. I hope you can see that. If not, no big deal. I have it. Um, here's that icon set. We'll go over that in a little bit too. But that's uh, that variable there. And then we also have weather ace underscore temp, which I know this is real small, but it is right there. And it's basically an average temperature, same unit of measure as in the weather ace setting. So I'm guessing um, it should be pulling that 87 that I'm seeing up there. And I think we did see 87 a moment ago. All right, let's go ahead and add another one. But before I do that, something I like to do when I'm building things in Tasker, I like to, uh, I'll talk about these send variables in a second, but I like to flash to make sure I'm pulling the right information. So if I go to this flash, I should be seeing my location and the current temp. So if I press play, it should flash something. There you go, location and there's the temperature. So it is pulling the information. These two variables that I have here, I'm going to show you how to do that as well, just in case you have missed out on that in a previous Tasker video I have done. So let's see here. Um, what's something else that I want to get from this thing right here? Uh, weather description. How about that? So weather ace underscore weather underscore description. I'm going to go over here. I've already forgot what that just said. No, it was Weather Ace. Let me go back to this real quick. Um, underscore Weather and then underscore DESC. So, taking that, we're going to copy this. And let's flash it first to make sure that we're going to pull something. And then I'll show you how to send that over to KOWP. So, I'm just going to add another piece that I just copied over. There we go. And let's test this and see if it's going to work. 
So look, clear. Okay, so that's the description. As you can see, what just a moment ago, all we got was the location and the temperature, but now we see clear. Um, I'm guessing here, what happens if I, okay. I'm just going in here, entering in. I wonder if this one gave me three different lines. There we go. So we got location, temp, and the current description, weather description. Now, how do we send that to KLWP? So to do that, we got to do another send variable. So I'm going to go to plus, plug in, custom live wallpaper, and KLWP send variable. Configuration, what you want to do here is you want to copy that same code that we just flashed a moment ago. Remember this with the percent symbol? That's this right here, and it does have the percent symbol up front. And let's call this uh, da, 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 script description. You can call it whatever you want. But you have to remember, you have to do it like that, and this is what we'll actually type in in KOWP to get it to pull that information. So now that we have three variables here, the other two that I have, this is the location. Let's, let me show you how I set that up. Basically, it's this code here for the tasker string, and then I just called it location. That's what I already have typed in in KOWP. And then the temp, I called it temp, but you can call it whatever you want. But again, there's that... Uh, variable that we want to get from weather ace to send over to KOWP. All right. So let me show you how to get that to show in KOWP. I'm going to back out of this and I'm going to show you how to create a profile so you can automatically run this every once in a while as well. So now that we have this here, I'm going to go into KOWP and we're going to get that word clear to pop up. Now this stuff that you see up here, let me make this a little bit bigger for you. All this stuff here, I'm just typing this for reference because if you download this from my KOWP P Toots um, APK on the Play Store, then I'm just reminding you that you do need Tasker and Weather Ace. However, here's the text for that information that we're getting from Tasker um, and that we're pulling from Weather Ace. So here's our two pieces that I already have. We broadcast for ta uh, broadcast variable Tasker comma and then type in that variable name. And the new one that we created was type this in so br tasker comma what did I call it description all right now it's not showing anything right now which is okay because we should be seeing the word clear let me save this let me go back to the home screen and now even though it's not showing I'm glad it's not doing this just to show you how to troubleshoot all you probably have all that you probably have to do is go back into tasker and run that task one time and it should do it because I don't think I ever actually ran this task after I created that variable just a moment ago. But now if we go back to the home screen, as you can see, it does say clear. So that's how you can quickly get information from this thing. Now, what about the icon set? So uh, the icon set, you download it and you get a whole bunch of PNG files. And what I did is I took this folder and I copied it over... into uh, just some random spot on my phone, not a random spot. I, oh, I got it under a certain folder, Tasker image, and then there's that hollow. And here's all these PNGs that we have there. So I copied them into my phone. And all I'm going to do now is I have to get the weather code from Tasker. And I'm going to have to do a little bit of coding because some of these are for daytime. And then we have some down here, I think, for night. Yep, as you can see, we do have some for in. So we got in, then we got a hyphen, and then we have some number. We have to get this number from Tasker, so let's go ahead and do that real quick. I'm going to go back into Tasker. I'm going to go to Weather Ace, that task, and I'm going to add, uh, to, well, let's go back up here and get the code first. So let's see, Weather Icon Code. I don't know if you can see that, but if I make it a little bit bigger, maybe you can. So uh, Weather Ace underscore Weather underscore ID. Weather ace underscore weather underscore ID. Was that right? Let me check that one more time. Yeah. All right, cool. Let's flash this, make sure we are getting a code. And let's see, are we getting a number? So 100. Well, what is 100? Let's see. 
Um, we should be getting this image right here in a moment. So it's a sun and it's gray, so I might have to change my background color a little bit. But again, this is just for demonstration purposes. More than likely you have your own icon sets. You can just change the, the names of your icons to these certain numbers to match the conditions. So we have the code, and now we gotta remember how these files are named. So that's gonna be important. I need to send that variable over to KOWP. So I'm gonna do that same thing I did a little while ago. Now we have the weather ID, and let's just call this code. All right. Let me go ahead and run this. So now the code has been sent to KOWP along with all the other information. Let's go back to the home screen and let's go back into KLWP to see if we can get this. Now remember, I did have this thing saved in a certain file in a folder on my phone. So I'm gonna go up here just to one of these random images and what I want to do is I want to copy the path. So I'm copying that entire path, the location to that particular file, but I'm gonna do some coding to change this depending on day or night and depending on the condition that I'm going to get from Tasker, which is pulling that information from Weather Ace. So going back into KOWP, I have that path copied. How do I want to add this? Do I want to, I'll just do an image. So I'm going to plus. Tell you what I'll do is use my stylus. I'm going to go to image and let's position this thing at the bottom. Hopefully this will be relatively clear. It should be. I'm just gonna bump the size up a little bit. And if we go to pick image, whoops, that's right, I need to check this box and do a calculator. All right, so we want to uh, open this particular path. Now, if I go to my clipboard, that's where I wanna be, right there. All right, let's check this and make sure it's at least showing. Yep, there's the sun. So that's that 100. Uh, all I did was copy that from the path a moment ago using my uh, file explorer on my phone. Now, we have to change a little bit of this in the code. First thing we want to do is this part here where it's D. Let's talk about a few things in terms of coding um, that I've, I haven't mentioned in a while. So depending on how far along you are in KOWP, but... Uh, astronomical info and then notice this one right here so AI is day it's gonna return a 1 if it's daytime or a 0 if it's night so right now it is a 1 because it is daytime here so what I want to do is I want to change the code right here where this D is and I want to do a code so I'm gonna start with the dollar symbol and I'm gonna say if AI is day is equal to one, we want to do a D. Because basically that's saying, okay, if it's daylight, remember a minute ago, we get a one if it's daytime, we get a zero if it's nighttime. So if, if AI is day is one, I want a D from my code. Otherwise, I want it to be an N in my code. So notice that right there, that dollar symbol stuff that I have is putting a D there. Remember a moment ago when I copied and pasted it, there was already a D right there, but now it's going to change dynamically depending on whether it's daytime or nighttime, and that's what's going to give us that first letter in these uh, file names that we have here. Now we have to actually change this 100. Don't, don't delete the hyphen. Just delete the 100, and let's do the code that we want to get from Tasker. Because remember, we did call it, uh, I think, code, didn't we? I forgot, but I'm going to do BR Tasker comma, code, and check it out, boom, it's pulling that code that we did just a moment ago. So this will change dynamically now, it'll change depending on whether it's day or night, and it's also going to change depending on what code it receives uh, from Tasker, and Tasker again is pulling this from Weather Ace. So just like that, boom, we have an icon set. Save this, go back to the home screen, and now how do we get this thing to update? Two things we can do. I'm going to go back into Tasker. I'm going to create a profile. So I'm going to go to plus, time, and let's just knock all this out. So I want it to do it. I think if I uncheck these two boxes, it's going to run all the time. So I'm going to do, let's, let's do every uh, two minutes just to sit here and test it out and make sure that this thing is going to work. 
Obviously, you wouldn't want to do this every two minutes. Probably like every 30 minutes will be fine. There's our profile. Now we need to pick the task that we want to run, which is Weather Ace. And something I'm going to go ahead and do as well, I'm going to assign a picture to this thing. That way I can actually update this from KOWP as well. So I'm just going to give it some icon. Let me see. I know I have to do this in order, or at least I had. I used to have to do this. Um, okay, I'm going to give it that red arrow. Boom. Something about KOWP, I think it wants an image there or something, if I remember correctly. But it's been a while since I've actually done a task and tasker related to KOWP. Nonetheless, there we go. Um, probably what we're going to be seeing, yeah, check this out. Every two minutes, we're probably going to see a flash up here. So that's good. As I'm sitting here talking, maybe we'll see the flash pop up again. That means it is automatically updating that task. It's pulling those new variables, and this will change um, depending on whatever it pulls. So... In KOWP, here's how you can manually do it. Let's say we want to touch this thing here to automatically update our uh, task and tasker to get it to pull the new information. So I'm going to go over to touch on that icon. Plus, and let's do a, which one is it? Is it a shortcut? It's been so long since I've done it. Yeah, task shortcut and weather ace. Boom. All right. Tap that up there. We're good to go. Let's save it. Let's go back to the home screen. Now, I'm going to probably fast forward through this part, but I'm basically I want to see if it's going to flash on its own again because I had it set to every two minutes to do it. And maybe we're probably getting close to the two-minute mark. Nice. There we go. Now, obviously, if you want to take that away, now watch this one more time. See, that did it automatically. Now I'm going to tap this icon. And look, it updated it again. So that's how you can manually do it. You can do it as many times as you want. Uh, what was I? I said I was getting ready to do something and I got sidetracked. Oh, yeah. To get the, if you don't want it to flash, or suppose you want to change the flash, this is just a little task or tip. Underneath flash, since we know we're pulling these variables, we can delete all this stuff. And we can just say, uh, weather, if I can spell. Weather Ace updated. All right, so checking that now, whenever we run this task, if I go back to my home screen, it's not going to show all those variables. It's just a nice way of saying, hey, it's been updated. Boom. So there you go. You know, quickly we got some icons. Not a lot of crazy coding there, but again, we had to manipulate that file name depending on day or night, and we had to pull that correct code depending on the current condition. There's tons of variables, as you saw a moment ago when I was coming up with these earlier in the video that you can pull. And uh, like I said, I mean, you know, you can get a lot of this stuff directly from KOWP anyway, but it's still, you know, cool to learn different ways of incorporating um, Tasker and KOWP together. But there you have it. That's how you can use Weather Ace and Tasker to get it to all work nicely with KOWP. And that's it for this video. Hope it helped.